Imagine the shock waves across the auto industry when a CEO steps on stage and confirms that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor. It's real. That is exactly what Mercedes has done. The company has finally revealed that the Yasaflux engine exists. An engine once whispered about in hushed tones is now front and center, and this isn't just any motor. Early reports claim it is so powerful and so radically different that giants like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota could soon be losing sleep. If this engine makes its way into production cars, the entire game, petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries could be flipped on its head. But the big question remains, what makes this engine so special? Is it truly the game changer the industry has been waiting for? Or is it just another flashy promise destined to fade away? And if it really delivers, could Tesla's EV dominance finally be under threat? One thing is certain, revolutions in car tech do not just appear overnight, they are born from years of research, hidden experiments, and carefully guarded strategies. The Yasaflux engine is no different. Many assume it surfaced suddenly, but in reality, Mercedes has been quietly working on it for years out of the spotlight, with no grand claims and no hype, just relentless work behind the scenes. That silence was all part of Mercedes's master plan. Let's rewind. Between 2010 and 2015, the EV wave exploded, and Tesla proved with its early models that electric cars were not just the future, they were already here. Mercedes, watching closely, knew one thing. If they wanted to stay relevant, betting only on batteries was not enough. They had to reinvent the motor itself. That is when their eyes landed on a small but brilliant British company, Yasa. This startup was already experimenting with axial flux motors, and their early prototypes hinted at a technology that could completely reshape the industry. Mercedes saw the potential, stepped in with support, and by 2019, they took full control of Yasa. That move laid the foundation for what is now being called one of the most disruptive engines in modern automotive history. From the outside, it looked like a simple business deal, but in reality, this was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes poured millions of dollars into the project, gave Yasa full funding, and put hundreds of engineers to work day and night. Over the past decade, this quiet partnership transformed into one of Mercedes's boldest innovations. The company kept the project so secret that even industry experts had no clue. People assumed Mercedes was just focused on luxury EVs, but behind closed doors, they were building an engine that could shift the direction of the auto industry. The second big factor in this master plan was timing. Mercedes never rushed to launch the technology. They knew that if they released an incomplete or weak product, companies like Tesla or BYD would ridicule it immediately. So, they tested it thoroughly. Thousands of hours of driving simulations and experiments in every condition until they were fully confident. Only then did they announce it to the world. This move shows how much Mercedes has learned from Tesla. Tesla enters the market with a lot of noise but Mercedes kept quiet, waited for the right moment, and then struck. This is their master plan. Say less, do more. So, what is the Yasa flux engine? Think about it. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Once petrol and diesel ruled the roads, then the era of electric cars took over. But today, the name making the most headlines is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it, and discussions about it are spreading all over the world. But what exactly is this engine? And why is it considered so special? Let's break it down in the simplest terms possible. Yasa is a British company that originally developed this engine technology before Mercedes took it under its wing. And flux simply means magnetic flow. Now understand this. Electric motors work on the interaction of electricity and magnets. Normal electric motors, which we call permanent magnet or induction motors, are thick and bulky. They take up more space and weigh a lot more. But the magic of the Yasa Flux engine is that it is very small, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Its design is called Axial Flux. Now what does Axial Flux mean? Let's put it in simple words. A normal motor rotates like a cylinder, while an Axial Flux motor rotates like a flat disc. In other words, instead of being a thick cylinder, this motor is like a thin round plate. The same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa Flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, 
it is clear that the Flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high. But this does not mean that it will always be expensive. As mass production begins, and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. Now, let's talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the Flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but the production of an axial flux motor is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils, and it is not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in hundreds of thousands of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supply is already limited to China and a few countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may grow further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. Now, the question arises, when and how? will the Yasa Flux engine arrive in future cars. Mercedes is currently preparing to bring it in its luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Flux engines can be included in vehicles like their AMG series. Its advantage in SUVs will be that, despite being a heavy vehicle, the Flux engine will give more torque and more power, making the driving experience of the SUV even more fun. At the same time, the use of flux engines in sports cars will make them capable of competing with vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. Flux engines can also bring a big change in trucks and commercial vehicles. Heavy vehicles need more power and torque. Flux engines deliver more power despite being lighter, which means that electric trucks and buses will hit the roads with more range and power than before. So, a careful examination of the projected technological roadmap reveals a really compelling narrative. Post-2030, the flux engine is actually poised to potentially become the new cornerstone of the electric vehicle industry. Right now, we're living in the age of the lithium-ion battery, a technology that's become so universal and standardized, it forms the foundational power source for virtually every electric car on the road today, from the most economical to the most luxurious. In a similar vein, the coming decade could, you know, witness a paradigm shift where automotive corporations worldwide gradually pivot their focus from energy storage to propulsion mechanics, embracing advanced motor technologies like the flux engine as the new industry benchmark. The momentum behind this transition suggests that within the next seven to eight years, the scalability and manufacturing processes for flux engines could be refined to such an extent that the technology trickles down from premium flagship models to the mass market. It is a plausible future where even entry-level, affordable electric cars begin to feature this advanced propulsion system, fundamentally changing the performance and efficiency expectations for the entire segment. This democratization of technology would mirror historical trends, much like how features once considered premium, such as anti-lock braking systems or electric power steering, eventually became standard across all vehicle categories. However, this promising outlook naturally invites a crucial and sobering question. Is the flux engine genuinely the definitive future of electric mobility, or is it merely the latest in a long line of corporate promises, amplified by strategic marketing and investor hype? Therefore, the ultimate validation for the flux engine will not be decided in research laboratories or through corporate presentations. Its true test will commence when it is integrated into the vehicles of everyday customers, commuters, families, and professionals, and begins to accumulate millions of miles on diverse roads across the globe. Only then will we know if its promised benefits in terms of durability, efficiency, power output, and cost-effectiveness hold firm, or if it succumbs to the unforeseen challenges that have humbled many a promising innovation before it. The road from prototype to production is long and arduous, and it is on this very road that the fate of the flux engine will ultimately be determined. So now the decision is yours. Do you believe that the flux engine will really change the future of electric vehicles? 
or will it fade away like other technologies in a few years? What is your opinion? Tell us in the comments. And yes, thanks for staying till the end of the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to see such amazing